the last LEGO Star Wars Summer Wave using this scoring system, I had a total prediction accuracy of 10.1%, which is honestly a lot better than I expected, so I figured it's time to continue this hot streak and predict the sets of the Summer 2023 Wave. A good amount of info has already leaked, namely the prices and some piece counts, so I'll base my predictions off those without giving myself any credit for getting the prices right, because I mean, they shouldn't really count since I already know the prices. The same thing actually happened last year, but what can you do? So, in order of set number, 75358 I think will be an advent calendar, nothing special, I'm not going to bother guessing the figures or anything here, but I do think he'll increase in price from 35 to 40 euro. 75359 I think will be Din Djarin versus Moff Gideon, I think it'll be a 25 euro jewel set based on their fight in the Mandalorian season 2, and I think it'll include the two minifigures, Moff Gideon and Din Djarin, and they'll be more or less the same as the ones we already have, but it'll include a new moulded Dark Saber and improved Din helmet with similar printing to his helmet in the UCS Razor Crest. 75360 I think will be Mon Mothma's cruiser from Andor, specifically I think this will be the taxi cruiser thing she uses to get to Luthen's antique shop. I think the size and scale of that cruiser would work well as a Lego model, similar to Han's Landspeeder from Solo. The thing is with the 35 euro set is that it could be pretty much anything from any era. It might include a facade for the shop, maybe just to give Luthen a place to stand. I think it'll include three minifigures, them being Luthen, Luthen? in his antique dealer outfit, Mon Mothma, and either Clea or the chauffeur, most likely the chauffeur. 75362 I think will be another Andor set, I think it'll be the Fondor Hallcraft for 80 euro. This is Luthen, Luthen? Luthen's ship from Andor, I think we need way more than just the Ambush on Ferrex set. I think it'll include three minifigures, them being Luthen, the same as the Ambush on Ferrex one, Clem wearing the long grey robe, and Bell. 75363 is 15 euros, so it's pretty much guaranteed to be an accessory pack. As to what that accessory pack is, I think it'll be a phase 2 clone trooper accessory pack, potentially based on the Bad Batch season 2, if there's still clones around in the show, I don't know, I haven't started watching season 2 yet. The phase 2 clones would be perfect for this type of accessory pack, I'm pretty confident at least one of these accessory packs will be clones, I just kind of put it on this one because it's the first one I thought of. I think it'll have three minifigures, that being two phase 2 clone troopers, just regular ones, and a clone captain from some legion just to give it some color. The next one is probably the most optimistic one there. I think 75364 will be a Stinger Mantis for 100 euro based on Fallen Order. Fallen Survivor is coming out next year and they'll likely use the same ship in that game so it's still really relevant. They might even be able to announce it when the game comes out or around the same time the game comes out in the same way they did the Bad Batch shuttle way earlier than the Summer Wave because the Bad Batch was coming out. And they already released BD1 based off Fallen Order so they're no longer against making sets for the games. And 100 feels like a good price for this ship with the level of detail I'm expecting. I think it'll have four minifigures, them being Cal Kestis, Grease, Seer, and Night Sister Merrin. Also a small BD1, which they already have a mold for now. I might be too confident in this one, but I really genuinely believe that if it's ever going to happen, it'll be in this summer wave. <laughs> Similarly, in terms of optimism, I think the 75365 will be the ghost for 160 euro. Hear me out. The Ahsoka show is premiering next year, and it is rumored that that ship will come back. It was 100 euro in 2014, but the 2014 version didn't include the Phantom, which was 40 euro. So if you include the Phantom and the Ghost into one set, that would be like 140 euro back in the day, adjusted for inflation. I think 160 euro is about the right price. So that'll be five minifigures, namely Sabine Wren, Ahsoka, Chopper, uh, a Rebellion version of Agent Callus, Hera, and Darth Vader. I just threw in Darth Vader for the sake of having some conflict and you know it won't be Thrawn. I think 75366 will be a little bit controversial in that it will be called Paz Vizsla's Starship for 45 euro and I think this will be a modified Slave 2 because it's a nod to the fans of the comic or whatever that it was in. It's like a Legends ship I think. And I think that's kind of in line with Paz's character based on how like traditional he was with the Mandalorian creed and stuff in Book of Boba Fett. I think it'll be based on Mandalorian season 3, which we only know a tiny bit about at this stage. I feel like Paz is going to come back in the show, it feels like he's kind of set up to do that, and he needs a ship. It kind of feels right, this is a really optimistic prediction. But I think the Slave 2 is about the right size for this price. I think it'll have three minifigures, them being Paz Vizsla and two unnamed Mandalorians. I'm tempted to call them Mandalorian loyalists, but I'm not sure how that dynamic will work in the show, so I'm just going to say Mandalorian loyalist type Mandalorians. 
75368 is another accessory pack, and I think this one will also be based on The Mandalorian Season 3, and it'll just be a Mandalorian Creed accessory pack. Similar to the Mandalorian Battle Pack from a few years ago, but with new Mandalorian colors. I think it makes sense since it's relevant with the show, and it can be mix and match to make unique combinations of figures to encourage multiple purchases, similar to the Hoth Troopers one. I think it'll have three minifigures, just three Mandalorians of different colors. 75369 is another accessory pack. There's allegedly going to be four in this wave, and this is the third one. I think it's just going to be a Rebel Troopers accessory pack. This will be based on episode four. It's been ages since we've gotten them. They're always relevant. They're from like the first scene in Star Wars, and I feel like this predictions list needs at least a little bit original trilogy. And they're very massable, similar to the Clone Troopers battle pack. I think it'll be three minifigures, then being two Rebel Troopers with the blue shirt, and one Rebel Trooper with the red shirt. 75370 is the last accessory pack and I ran out of ideas for this one so I just guessed it'll be a death trooper accessory pack. I think they showed up in Kenobi, not that that means much because it got pretty poor reception. I think it'll have three minifigures, them being one imperial officer in a black outfit with maybe a cape and two death troopers. And finally we have 75371 which you would think given the 200 euro price tag would be a UCS set but I don't think this will be a UCS set because the standard 200 euro UCS set price has gone up to 240 so I think this is what would have been an 180 euro playset but more expensive it's now 200 and with that in mind I think it'll be a Jabba sail barge it's the 40th anniversary of Revenge of the Jedi I think the inflated price makes sense because of the way they repriced all the Lego Star Wars sets I think it'll include the barge and two desert skiffs and a very detailed Sarlacc pit and optimistically I think you'll have 13 minifigures them being Jabba the Hutt Luke Skywalker, a Hut Slayer Leia, although that one is very up in the air, Han Solo, Lando Calrissian in the Gamorrean armor, two Gamorrean guards, although maybe only one actually, because they have a tendency to only include one when there's supposed to be two, C-3PO, R2-D2, Max Rebo, Bib Fortuna, and just two random aliens just to populate the party that's going on there. And since I originally made this prediction, there's more evidence to suggest it could happen because the Jabba's throne diorama got leaked and apparently there's going to be a molded Jabba the Hutt in that. So it's kind of lining up well. I feel like they won't just make the mold for that single diorama. And if there's an opportunity to reuse it in another set, like a 200 euro Jabba sail barge, I think they will take that opportunity. And again, similar to the Stinger Mantis, if this is going to happen anytime soon, it would be this year because of the 40th anniversary and the availability of the mold. And that's all of them. I made all these predictions with a justification and a reason to believe in each of them, but after reading through them in one go, I realize it does kind of read like a wish list more so than realistic predictions. I think the last two or so years of LEGO Star Wars have been exceptionally good, so much that they've actually given me enough reason to have faith in these predictions. So yeah, thanks for watching, farewell.